Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on bone marrow aspiration. This procedure is done to do examination of the bone marrow in a patient who has hematological or oncological disorder. This is a picture showing how the bone marrow aspiration look like. So the needle will pass through the cortical bone into the spongy bone, which is the bone marrow and aspirate the bone marrow for examination. These are the contraindications to this procedure. If the patient has bleeding tendency or platelet count is very low, which is le less than 50,000 per millimeter cube. And considering transfusion of platelet concentrates before or during the procedure. The equipment for this procedure is a bone marrow set shown in this picture here. A dressing set, sterile dressing towel, gown, sterile gloves and mask, povidon iodine solution, and also sedation or local anesthesia. Before starting the procedure, check the vital signs and sedate the patient. Continuous monitoring of vital signs is done, which include monitoring the heart rate, oxygen saturation, respiratory rate, and blood pressure. Position the patient either in the position for lumbar puncture, which is lying on one side, or in a prone position, where they are lying on their front. Next, identify the site of aspiration. The preferred site is the posterior iliac crest, whereas for children, especially those less than 3 months old, the site is the upper anterior medial tibia. Next, clean the area of the skin using aseptic technique, then give local anesthesia. Make a small skin lick over the posterior superior iliac spine. Hold the troca firmly and gently enter the cortex of the bone by a twisting action. A gif is felt as the needle enters the bone marrow. So usually, trephine biopsy is done before the marrow aspiration. After the bone marrow aspiration, we withdraw the needle, spray with oxide and cover the site with gauze and crepe bandage. So ask the patient to lie supine for the next 4-6 to six hours and observe for blood soaking the gauze in a patient who has bleeding diathesis. The complications for bone marrow aspiration are bleeding, hematoma formation, and infection. That's all for this video. Thank you.